Hello everyone, what I'm going to demonstrate today is a health monitoring system that has ECG, glucometer and temperature sensor and it's all interface to the HC06 Bluetooth module that you can see it blinking over here. This circuit board uh, is the analog front end has the circuitry for CG glucometer and temperature sensor. The square thing that you are seeing is the power supply module. It's powering up the circuit board. The stellar's launch pad and the Bluetooth. And of course, you can charge it with this uh, charging port that I've created over here. Now, right now I'm all wired up. Okay. So we'll be looking at the parameters on the Android phone. What I've used is the Amarino libraries for connecting Arduino and Android phone. But instead of Arduino, I'm going to use a more powerful ARM Cortex M4 based Stellar's launchpad. Uh, actually, you can run the same code that you run on Arduino on the Stellar's launchpad using uh, ID called Energia. The Energia lets you use all the Arduino like code on Stellar's, making it much easier. You don't have to learn all those basic things of M4 Cortex. Really helps you move on to more powerful environments. So I'm turning on my phone over here. Let's pair the device with our circuit. That takes a while to focus. It's connected and we can verify that with uh, the circuit. We stop blinking now, that means it's connected. The blue LED that you're seeing is actually showing my heartbeat because I'm already wired up. It's already uh, you know, measuring my ECG. All we have to do is pair with this uh, Bluetooth device over here and we can begin plotting the ECG graph. Now, I had to create an application based on the Amarino library. I actually modified the uh, app called SensorGraph to suit my needs. So here is the ECG graph. Nice and clean. Now I, I said that I modified the app. Now here, here's the modification part. I wanted to upload this data onto the website, so I had to add the internet connectivity part. So over here you can enter your username. So actually, I. Uh, there's one bug that I failed to fix, so we have to restart the app. It should get connected quickly uh, yes it is connected now right now all we have to do is enter our name and we'll be able to record and upload this entire uh, ECG graph onto the website so let's enter some name over here. 
right here I have a lot of entries on my database let's add something like a video video recording ECG okay now first of all I will see if the ECG graph is good if I feel it's good I will click on record and upload I think it's good enough I will click on record and upload now it will record at least 1000 samples before it begins uploading so we will have to wait until it completes the uh, recording part ok now it's uploading and it's done uploading as you can see I'm using edge network pretty uh, you know, low bandwidth network and it still works great you don't need any high speed network to get this working it even works on GPRS connection let's go on to the website okay I've already loaded the entire database but what we entered as a name was a video recording so let's refresh this page Number 85 video recording ECG. New patient data and boom. Calculate my heart rate also for duration 0.2. And look at the graph. Actually, recorded date and time so I put it here then also modify the database a bit and so here it goes that's how it works that's how our project works I'm actually working on getting glucometer and uh, you know, add more parameters to it the temperature sensor is working great so we'll work on that too but that's all for now